Uh, greetings uh, from the Sukkot, Airdrie, Alberta, Canada, 80,000 people, and I believe I'm the only one with a Sukkot. It's Erev Shabbat, 9th of September. It's uh, Oshana Rabbah, and it's T321, 5781. It's Friday, Shabbat Shalom, and thank you, Habat, uh, Calgary, Lubavitch, for the calendar, for sending it to me. I very much appreciate that. And, uh, you know, driving on uh, Shabbat the 9th, and we're driving Shabbat the 10th, it's Saturday, T322, and uh, uh, we're driving on uh, Simcha Torah. 23rd of Tishri, and uh, holiday ends at 7.40 p.m., and uh, again, going back, it's uh, my very first uh, um, sukkah, sukkot that I've made. Um, Rabbi Reuben has gone over the what the sukkot has, sukkot has to be. Here's one wall, full wall here, and another solid wall here. It's just not lattice. That lattice is nailed to a solid piece of plywood and frame. And we've got a solid plywood there. It's eight foot long. Yeah, so this is not just the the wall. It's if this is just to decorate it. It's a full solid wall, the floor of the deck, and we have covering still open to the stars that's made of wood. Something grows from the earth, and my one wall can be open. And another mitzvah is this is where I'm sleeping. And I'm saying, uh, Baruch Atah, Adonai, Eloheinu, Adonai, Bore, Free, Hagafen, Mogan Davin. Kosher for a Passover wine. And I'll say the blessing with the air, air trough, I think it is, for the first time in my own Sukkot, God's Sukkot. And here you can see an air, air trough. You can see the ridges in its skin. A prominent top here and Still got a stem, but the the big thing here is a thick, thick skin. And uh, South Africa is a hot country, and uh, this is where this has come from. I do believe it's kosher because I looked at the skin, and there's no way that looks like a lemon. It's thick, it's ridgy, and it comes from a very hot country. And I've adapted my uh, four kinds uh, right here. Uh, the willow, oh, it's drying up now. I've got palm fronds in here, the four species, the myrtle. It's a flowering shrub, and I do believe we can ask a rabbi when we're in other countries. We can certainly look up comparable species to the four kinds and go to a greenhouse and get the things that uh, we need for Sukkot to say the, the blessing. The lulav, 
on the e-trov. And up here, the first time in the history of the earth, a Shem God has shut down the shuls, the churches, and the temples. Uh, you can't gather more than 10. And so, uh, wow, that's quite something. No gathering. These people believe in social distancing, and I'm not wearing the mask, the dog mask. I haven't since the starting of the pandemic. So, Baruch Hashem, uh, my first, God's first Sukkot. It's rough looking, but I do believe I fulfilled all the mitzvahs, and I'm sleeping here tonight, and... Uh, I think I'll sleep in it on Shabbat night here, and uh, I won't be in the shul to look at the Torah, but I'll be doing Rabbi Gordon's um, last reading of the um, of the new of the the Torah. And I'm told the last letter is Lamed, and the first letter in Beratius is Bet, and making Lamed and Bet Lub, which is the heart. And I might also say Kaleb, Caleb, Kaf, Lamed, Bet, Caleb, son of Nun, Noon is you take the cough out and you get heart, God's heart. So what's he telling us? My first Sukkot at home. And uh, right here, a little of and the Etrov. That was at the Jewish Community Center. They don't have it open either on the parking lot, which is sort of sad. But there we have it.